This is Shlishi, the third reading of the weekly Torah portion this week, which is Shmini. The Shlishi, the third reading of this Torah portion, is uh, Leviticus chapter 9, verse 24, which is the very last verse uh, of chapter 9, and through 10, 11. Um, starting with 9.24 of Leviticus. And fire went forth from before the Lord and consumed the burnt offering and the fats upon the altar. And all the people saw, sang praises, and fell upon their faces. Chapter 10, verse 1. And Aaron's sons, Nadav and Avihu, each took his pan, put fire in them, and placed incense upon it. And they brought before the Lord foreign fire, which he had not commanded them. And fire went forth from before the Lord and consumed them. And they died before the Lord. Then Moses said to Aaron, This is what the Lord spoke. When he said, I will be, be sanctified through those near to me. And before all the people, I will be glorified. And Aaron was silent. And Moses summoned Mishael and El Safan, the sons of Aaron's uncle, Uziel. And said to them, draw near, carry your kinsmen from within the sanctuary to the outside of the camp. So they approached and carried them with their tunics to the outside of the camp, as Moses had spoken. And Moses said to Aaron and to Eleazar and to Itamar, his sons, Do not leave your heads unshorn, and do not rend your garments, so that you shall not die unless he be angry with the entire community. But your brothers, the entire house of Israel, shall bewail the conflagration that the Lord has burned. And do not go out of the entrance of the tent of meeting, lest you die, because the Lord's anointing oil is upon you. And they did according to Moses' order. And the Lord spoke to Aaron, saying, Do not drink wine, that will lead to intoxication, neither you nor your sons with you, when you go into the tent of meeting, so that you shall not die. This is an eternal statute for your generations. To distinguish between holy and profane, between unclean and clean, and to instruct the children of Israel regarding all the statutes which the Lord has spoken to them through Moses.